Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence with a follow-up video to a video I did several months ago on the topic of tow truck campaigns in Google Ads. So actually in response to that video, I've had a bunch of people contact me. So I have some new towing clients that I've been running over the last several months. So I've learned a few things. So I wanted to add a few more concepts to that video in this updated video here. So if you haven't watched that video, I'll link to it below. You should probably go watch that first and then come back to this one and watch it because this one kind of builds off the last one. So one of the things I referenced in that earlier video was cost per conversion, how others were kind of saying that cost per conversions can be, you know, $10, $12. And I thought that was kind of off base, maybe just way too low, you know, promising this guy. Because in my experience, I had seen cost per conversion, cost per lead for tow truck campaigns being more around $20 to $30 average. So after managing more accounts for, you know, several more months in different parts of the, the US, I found that to be true in terms of like the average probably being around $25. But I've also found some accounts in specific areas where the cost per conversion does drop below 15, sometimes below 10. So I wanted to show just kind of as quick proof, this one campaign here has been running for several months. In the last 30 days, it generated 162 leads for under $12, so about $11.31 each. So I really just wanted to point out that that is possible. This account is actually in a pretty large city. So as with Google ads in any industry, it's gonna depend on population. You have to have a large population in order to get the cost per conversion that low because you just need a lot of call volume, a lot of search volume. But it's also possible to be in a large city and just have so much competition, other tow truck advertisers, that are raising the competition level to the point where cost per lead is gonna go up to $25 and maybe even more. So another thing I've learned about these towing campaigns also has to do with population in certain cities. So I had one client who was kind of struggling and they were in the DC area, but south of there. So, you know, along this interstate 95. So Fredericksburg was somewhere we were advertising. So it's a populated area but it's really between, you know, major metro areas. So you got Washington, D.C., and then Richmond, uh, Virginia here. So there's plenty of traffic coming through here, but these people are moving. So if you're targeting like a radius right here, you got people driving through, and then you have these major hubs. So you might have advertisers who are hitting this area, but they're also hitting Fredericksburg or someone from Richmond could be advertising here but also, you know, advertising north of there. So one thing I've realized that it's difficult for an advertiser to just focus on an area like, you know, 10 miles around Fredericksburg and really create a good campaign out of that. I think there's too much competition from larger budgets in nearby cities. And then you couple that with the fact that there's just not that much search volume in these small areas, even, even though there's large interstates going through you know, people are driving through, so they, they could be already, you know, 100 miles outside when they're kind of geo-targeted to Fredericksburg. So they're always moving through, but they're not spending a lot of time in that area as opposed to, you know, these major hubs. So I'm not sure really what the answer is there. I mean, one answer could be to just try to target larger cities if you can. Obviously, in this case, if you're in Fredericksburg, you know, it's pretty far drive to either city, so it's hard to target outside there. Bottom line, I think it's going to be a struggle in these more rural areas with lower population. Another place I saw this happens with a current client near Atlanta. So we're talking, you know, major population center. But what we were trying to do is target more near his home base, which is like to the south and the east. So you got these major expressways coming out from Atlanta. But again, people are driving through. They're driving to Atlanta or from Atlanta. So it's hard to really geo-target them as they're driving because they're on the move, obviously. And I guess when they're calling for a tow truck, they're probably not on the move, but they have been for the last several hours. So it just creates a difficulty for Google to geo-target these uh, searchers. And then you got Atlanta, which is obviously a huge metro area with millions of people. So you got big you know, tow truck competition here. And some of these advertisers in Atlanta are probably you know, doing 20 miles around the city. So they're also driving out to these areas they got large budget, so you have the competition from these large competitors, tow truck companies, but you are kind of cutting yourself off from the major volume inside the city. So if you're trying to target like out in this area, 
one suggestion would be to just try to like dip into the major metro area a little bit just to tap into some of that major search volume obviously you're gonna have to be willing to drive into the city a little bit but from my experience that's just what you have to do to get those bigger volumes and have successful campaigns that are going to bring the cost per lead down you know definitely to the 25 dollar average and maybe even lower so another thing I've learned to do with towing campaigns over the last few years is to add negative keywords right from the start. A lot of times with new accounts, new campaigns, I'll just let them get some data and then I'll review the search terms and add negative keywords. But I've learned with towing campaigns that a lot of the negative keywords that I want to add are going to be the same across cities because there's, you know, insurance companies, there's car makes and models that, that need to be added because a lot of tow truck companies just don't want to show when people are searching for like Ford roadside assistance and things like that. So you're going to get better results quicker if you just add those as like a master negative keyword list right from the start. So I've actually developed a master keyword list that I just kind of throw into a new towing campaign and weed out all of those keywords that I want to uh, remove right from the start. Competitor names is also something that show up a lot in the first few weeks and we just have to weed those out. So you can be a little bit proactive with that. Like, so for example, you could type in Atlanta Towing Company. You probably already know your competitors to some degree, but I'm sure there's some you don't know of, or maybe some, you know, that aren't direct competitors, but that are 50 miles away. Those are going to generate searches on your campaign. And those are probably people looking for, they might be looking for their car because this towing company um, impounded their car or something. So you can just go through the list and like a Google search or like Yelp search and just throw all these uh, negative keywords in right when you start your campaign just to get off to a faster start and to eliminate those competitor searches that might come through. I will link to another video as well that talks about the best way to add negative keywords because if you're looking at all these competitor names, there is a more efficient way to add negative keywords than just putting the full names in of all these competitors. Like for example, just put the word Lackley instead of putting Lackley auto and tow heavy duty towing, you might as well hit it every time someone searches like the root of that competitor name. So this isn't a complete list of all the strategies that I use to run successful towing campaigns, but I just wanted to add a few more out there from my last video. Again, make sure to go watch that last video if you haven't yet. If you're interested in having me manage your towing account, I do have a few more spaces left. I'm really just taking one towing account per city. So feel free to re reach out to me. I'll link to my website below and you can get in touch with me that way. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you on the next one.